Hello friends, this video on applications of biotechnology part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So this was all about the various applications of biotechnology in different fields. Now there are certain ethical issues also associated with the genetic modification of various organisms and plants. Now, genetic modification which involves manipulation of living organisms has both disadvantages and advantages. Now, as you saw that uh, things now once you are very clear with the process of genetic engineering, mixing and matching of gene becomes very simple, looks very simple to you. Like you can have an orange inside which you have apple, you can have uh, a corn and then from outside it might be a banana. So. All these experiments become very simple when you are into the field of genetic engineering. Now over a period of time it has been observed that it, there are several disadvantages associated with genetic modification as well. Now there are many ethical issues associated with it. It has been found that there are many scientists who are actually uh, making use of uh, certain things which hurts the uh, regional sentiments of many people. So let us quickly look at the advantages and disadvantages of genetic modification. Meanwhile, we will also talk about the ethical issues involved or associated with it. So some of the advantages of genetic modification are larger yield of crops, of course, enhanced genetic diversity because you can actually give rise to new varieties of plants and animals inbuilt resistance to pests and diseases now this is an advantage because uh, it it has an inbuilt pesticide but at the same time that is disadvantage as well because that inbuilt pesticide can actually enter into the food chain and can harm the people who eat them less need for insecticides because they already have it inbuilt more tolerant to adverse climatic conditions like too much of hot too much cold drought or too much of water so it can it, it is more tolerant to all such adverse conditions whereas if you talk about the disadvantages it can adversely affect moral issues now this is again important because it has been found that in many areas it so happened that people uh, stole like if you look at the entire world there are certain countries who are traditionally very rich so they have a lot of knowledge as far as the traditional knowledge is concerned and India is one of them however such countries are not developed countries so they are developing countries so they do not have uh, a very strong uh, background where they have a lot of technology or they have a lot of money so all those things are missing whereas there are certain countries who are very strong economically but they do not have a lot of traditional knowledge. So what, what's happening is those who have the power, those who are the developed countries, they sometimes try to uh, take advantage of the traditional knowledge of the developing countries and they come up and they make use of technology and they come up with better products. But they are actually stealing an idea from the developing countries. So these kind of issues have affected the ethical issues of several parts, I mean several sections of people. So genetic modification can affect moral issues and that is why in every country there are certain laws which have been put into place which, which restricts or which gives some limitations to genetic modification. Risk involved in the process because as you know in the process of genetic engineering when we insert a new gene to a target organism we really don't know what is actually happening inside. So there can be some adverse effects also that is insertion of the new gene can adversely affect the functioning of a normal gene. Process is irreversible so once you have genetically modified an organism you cannot reverse the process. Artificial way of food production. Now this entire process is artificial. It is not natural and anything that is artificial involves a lot of manipulation and that is why there are a lot of disadvantages associated with that. Pests and disease resistant foods can give rise to even more harmful organisms because since they are resistant to pests and insects that means they have inbuilt pesticides and insecticides and those pesticides and insecticides are even difficult even more difficult to be destroyed so they are also like harmful. So here comes now when we talk about these ethical issues or hurting people's sentiments there comes the concept of biopiracy. So what is biopiracy? 
it is a situation where bio resources are used by others for profit without proper permission from the people or countries now you would have often heard of pirated cds the word piracy you would have heard it there so whenever you make use of something whenever you use something without taking proper permission from the people to whom that particular thing belongs to for example i'll give you a small example let us suppose a, your friend comes to your house okay and he says you that okay i need your uh, pen so can i take your pen can i borrow your pen for a day and he takes your pen and goes away so that is a scenario there is another scenario that a person enters inside your house without your permission you do not open the door for that person to enter that person maybe he somehow enters through uh, the by breaking the window pane or something somehow he enters into your house he takes your pen and he goes away so are the two situations same in the first situation the person is coming he is taking proper permission from you and then he is taking your pen so you are okay with that scenario in the next scenario a person is coming inside your house without your permission and then he is taking your pen without your permission so what do you call that person so the second person will be called a thief but the first person will still remain a friend so the same scenario applies here so whenever by the living resources are being used from some country or from somebody so it has to be taken it has to be done with proper permission if that is not done then it is said to be pirated and this concept is known as bio piracy now why this has been put into place is that as i was telling that many such cases were observed where uh, some countries were uh, inventing or making new things using genetic engineering but the base product which they had used belonged to some other country or belonged to some other people and they did not take proper permission from them so the, this are not so they are not, these things are not ethical so that's why there is a limitation which has been put to genetic engineering so that these kind of unethical issues do not rise thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.